And good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Oh, y'all. <laughs> you know I was coming with this one. I had to. Uh, I'm talking about the slap herd around the world, child. So here we are at home looking at the Oscars. I don't really watch the Oscars. I like the, the walk, the runway part. I do like to see what the fashion is looking like and all of that. And then I'm out. But uh, it was on. And I had waking up, just woken up from a nap, right? And so uh, I'm looking at the TV and here we have uh, <laughs> Fresh Prince of Will Smith up for an Oscar for King Richard. Great movie, if you haven't seen it. Great movie about uh, Venus and Serena Williams' dad and how he directed them into tennis. Okay. Chris Rock come on and Chris Rock makes a joke uh, about Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada and Will were sitting at the table closest to the front, you know, because he had the possibility of winning uh, this award. So uh, Chris says, oh, uh, Jada, yeah, you're going to make that G.I. Uh, Jane movie or that G.I. Jane part two. Now, I look over and Chris is, I mean, uh, excuse me, Will is laughing, right? Almost though that embarrassment laugh. You know what I'm talking about? When somebody makes a joke at your expense and then you kind of laugh, but inside of you or when you get in your car, you're like, oh, I should have said this. I should have did that. He looks over at Jada and Jada looks none too pleased. Next thing we know, in the midst of Chris Rock talking, Will comes walking up on the stage and he slaps him, right? I'm shocked. All of a sudden, we don't hear any sound. I thought it was my television. I was watching it in my room. Cam was watching it in the living room. And I was saying, what's wrong with the TV? Is something wrong with your TV? There's no sound. There's no sound. Lo and behold, uh... Will is at his table telling Chris Rock, keep my wife's name out your blanking mouth. And Chris tries to laugh it off a little bit and then it comes again. And Will says same thing again, but with more force. Like in a voice I've never heard of him before. I'm like, boy, Chris, you knew, <laughs> first of all, you knew that was coming. Let me hear, let me tell you what people are saying. Oh, a white comedian would never do that to Will. Stop it. You better stop it. That is not true. A white comedian and a black comedian would have done that to you. And this is for my baby boomers or my Gen Xers. You know, like I know, that number one, if Richard Pryor was on that stage and wanted to crack a joke on Jada, Will, or anybody else, he would have. And let me tell you, the king of roasting, uh... Don Rickles. Don Rickles would have said it and moved on and said stuff to other people. And I guarantee you that uh, Will would not have gotten up and slap either one of those faces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting, too, because those two are supposed to be friends, Chris and, and Will. You know, I mean, friends in Hollywood language is like strangers to each other, but they're friends, supposedly. Uh, it's even been written, I saw that uh, Los Angeles police know about the incident. They asked Chris, did he want to press charges? He said he did not want to press charges, but they said they're going to hold it open in case Chris changes his mind. Yeah. Mm -mm. Will, you don't put your hands on nobody. You know your mother would have said that your mother who was at that knitting circle that you mentioned. Yeah. And so he did win the award, by the way, the Oscar for Best Actor. It probably was way too late to change for the Oscar to change their mind. But listen, uh, I think Oscars are probably, uh, they have embarrassment to it, of course. But also, they're probably happy because who's talked about the Oscars like this in a long time? I'm using my Illuminati deck. Who's been talking about the Oscars? Nobody. Their viewership have gone down tremendously. But... Lord have mercy, the Oscars are turned to the Source Awards. And if you know, you know about the Source Awards and Suge Knight and all of that. But that's way back in the day, too. Anyways, I want to take a look and see 
what is going on with Will? I think Will is having a lot of problems. And let me just say this for the record. Um, I don't think uh, Chris's joke was really that offensive, but also wasn't appropriate. Because come to find out, uh, Jada has a, a alopecia, which is an autoimmune disease. And so I don't think Chris would knew that. You know, I don't think he knew that at all. Chris, I mean, excuse me, Will apologized to the Academy, you know, when he accepted his award and stuff like that. But he made a good point because it happens here. As a content creator on YouTube, we suffer the same thing. People feel very comfortable. They don't even know you, but they say things to you, well-meaning some. You know, I've had people talk about my eyebrows. I had someone write me about my moles on my neck, uh, about my hair, all that kind of stuff. And the truth is we're humans, you know, he's human and you get to a point where you're like enough is enough, you know, can you stop? Just like I told you when I did the video on uh, with the young lady talking about some adult conversations dealing around racism and classism and things like that, you know, someone comes in and says something racist, <laughs> like really? R okay, wow. Yeah, so I want to see what caused Will's I think it was really uh, Jada's reaction to everything. Will, keep your hands to yourself. And maybe these days, and it's a new day and age, it's not the day and age of, of um, you know, a lot of the older comedians, the Don Rickles, because he even slayed Frank Sinatra. And you know, nobody messed with Frank Sinatra. You know, he was connected to the mob and everything, but Don Rickles didn't care. But now in this PC uh, time that we're in, you can barely say anything to people without an offense. <laughs> and I guess hands laid on you too, you know. I don't condone the hit. I don't think that was right. That's my opinion. Um, it has nothing to do with Tarot. I just think that you should have had a conversation backstage. I think Will has a lot of power. Uh, obviously he does. And uh, he could have said some things to Chris who has no power. That amounted to like, uh, don't have me blackball you, <laughs> you know, that's what I would have done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Queen of Wands. Yeah, she pops up right away. That would be our Jada, right? Very powerful woman that she could make you do things out of your own character. And we saw that. We don't know what Will is like behind the scenes. And I, I, I can imagine behind all that red table talk that she doing, <laughs> his wife, it has gotten to be an awful lot to him. But yes, she's still the queen and he's still there. Why is he did that? He did that to protect her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He felt that she was being bullying, bullied. That's the, that's my call, my bully card right there. The five of swords. Let me get my fingers out the way. So here's, Here's Jada, the queen, a very powerful woman, an independent woman, a business woman, a woman who can make nothing into something wonderful. Um, yeah, beautiful woman. This is almost reminiscent of her gown. If you saw her gown last night, the green and everything was quite spectacular. Um, and then that's Will coming to her defense. And it almost looked like bullying. <laughs> On Will's part, and that's what it looked like. Like, I'm taking all the swords. I'm not taking no mess no more. When he said in his uh, acceptance speech about he's done with people coming for him or his family or anybody else, he meant that. Mm -hmm. And so he was playing protector for her. Um, does he know better? Yeah, he does. We have the high priest. Inside himself, he knows that he did what he did was not the right thing. But... We've got the Emperor card. That tells me that even though I know it's not the right thing inside myself, I know I messed up. I don't know how this is going to turn out for me, um, but I'm going to be the man. You know, fist pumping, chest. I'm going to be the man in this situation. Yeah. Um, he's sitting on top right now. So that's the Wheel of Fortune. He's sitting on top. The problem is the wheel goes round and you can be up now, but you can find yourself on the bottom. And a lot of times it isn't just that the universe takes us to the bottom. Sometimes we rush ourselves down there very quickly. So he needs to be very careful of that. Let me see how Chris is feeling this morning. So Will was playing 
macho man. He kind of said that in the end. He kind of gave that. And my cards just simply verify what we know. Um, but it needs to be a behind the scenes type of thing. And I'm going to tell you why. To me, you have a lot of people who have negative feelings about people of color, racist people, um, people that's not even necessarily racist, but they sort of have their opinions. And when you come out here in this very formal environment and one black man hits another black man, that looks like, you know, what it was, uh, black on black crime. Black people are always trying to go after each other. Black people are always doing this and that. That's not true. That's not true. But then when you play this out uh, for the world to see, that is verifying a lot of people who, like the Mitch McConnell's, who said the blacks vote the same as Americans. And we're all Americans, period. But there you are, putting that on display for the world to see. Let's see. Thank goodness for Diddy. I'm not a Diddy fan at all, not at all. P. Diddy, Sean Combs, I'm really not. But he came after and was trying to say, hey, we'll talk about this after the fact. Thanks to Denzel that came out. Tyler Perry came out and talked during the commercial break. They were showing it. Somebody filmed it. And they were taking Will to the side and talking to him and stuff. And I'm going to tell you something which, he, which uh, Will said that Denzel told him. When you're at the top of your game, you can best believe that's when the devil shows up. I've seen it. I lived it. Even with this particular channel. Um, even with this channel. When you're at the top of the game... Here comes the devil seeking you out, trying to break you or or lay your information bare or whatever. Let me see. Chris, Chris, how are you feeling about this today? Chris, Chris. And that hit was hard because Chris was like dumbfounded. <laughs> when he came back on the mic, he had, could barely remember what he was even there to present. Chris. Ooh, I can feel Chris' emotions. Chris feels very ashamed. He's angry. He's questioning every aspect of it. What did I say? What did I do that was that bad? It was just a joke. Mm -hmm. Interesting because we have the high priestess for Chris too. Chris knew the moment that joke came out of his mouth. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said anything. He did not have any anticipation of, you know, what was going to come next. But he knew I shouldn't have said that. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to try to be funny. You know, he is a comedian. He took a chance. Uh, Chris is going to go quiet for a while. We have the hermit. He's going to go quiet. Although we're not really looking for Chris Rock like that. You know, and I hate that, unfortunately, because he used to be pretty good back in the day. But he's going to go real quiet. Not really trying to make a lot of statements, not trying to get capture this moment to, you know, make himself in the limelight. He's going to go very silent. He's going to really start um, looking within. He's had a lot of problems in his personal life. His career is, is on the downside when it was up. And so uh, maybe this is what he needed in his life to get him to say, let me think about me and what's going on with me. And would I like somebody to mention my wife? in a joke, excuse me, in a joke, and would I, would I have acted or reacted, and I'm going to tell you something, uh, Chris is an Aquarius, and had you done that to him, yes, he would have Aquarius, it's interesting, you got an Aquarius and a Libra, and so you got all this air energy, like a quick storm, you know how all of a sudden you, you it was a beautiful day, and then all of a sudden a quick uh, tornado will sh show up, or a windstorm will show up, or even a hurricane, because that is actually a tornado on water, uh, yeah, that type of thing, and so he's going to keep quiet, but ultimately, Chris is just going to keep on moving forward. He's just going to feel like this is another battle that I've I've uh, gone through. It's going to make me stronger. I'm going to be more careful about what I say and when I say it. Uh, because if you notice, it is Will that's either getting the negative aspects of it or the positive aspect of it and the support. But Chris is not really being mentioned um, and so his chariot card tells me I've been through a lot and this is just one more thing and I'm going to push through this, uh, ultimately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
You might even start to, when Chris takes some time, you might start seeing him again. This may have helped to make him almost relevant, you know, get back on the talk show circuit. And and uh, he definitely can have a whole HBO comedy special out of this. Lastly, I just want to see Jada. Let's take a look at Jada really quickly. If you stay this long, don't forget to thumbs me up, like, leave a comment. Tell me your honest opinion. What did you feel about last night? If you haven't, if you didn't see it, I'm sure you've seen a clip or you've read about it or you'll see it sometime today before this day ends, you know, because we always, this is a, this, this world is a social place. And so we socialize by speaking gossip or talking on things and analyzing things and not really knowing the motivation behind a lot of things. But let me see what Jada is with this. Jada. I'm going to tell you to like it or not, when Will sat back down, Jada kissed him after that. And I think she's very celebrity alert, uh, woke on all that aspect. And know that if, she, if he came back to the table and she chastised him, it would not have been a good look for her. Jada. Will is much beloved. Jada, 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 Jada. Let's see. Interesting, because before this, Jada is the Two of Swords. And Jada has been thinking about staying or should I stay, should I go in this situation? Um, yeah, she's kind of, she's kind of been in this non-committal situation in her marriage. Like they don't perhaps sleep together or live together or whatnot. Um, then we have this whole five of wands situation. This whole, this is what we don't know that behind at home, there was a big argument about this of, um, what should have happened, what shouldn't have happened, all of that. But ultimately, she gets the sun card that says that, A, she's going to be okay. Will's going to be okay. And this may have brought something back alive in that relationship. Sometimes we get bored with stuff. And I know that Will's kind of been out there. But uh, she's, she's going to stick in the situation. Yeah. She's going to want now, since the sun is out and he stood up for her, you know, all gallantly. It's like, I want to take a fresh start. I'm going to take a fresh start. I'm going to try this again. We're going to try to work this again. And we're going to be like a couple now, not we're only a couple on the red carpet. We're going to be a real committed couple together. We're going to remember why we got together in the first place. We're going to leave a lot of the mess alone. So, yeah. That'll last for a little while. It'll last for a little while. Um, ultimately, though, even after they have this sort of honeymoonish thing again, this sort of I forgive you, I love you, thank you for looking out for me. You put the spotlight back on me in a way, not necessarily I want it, but it was, where people have empathy and stuff for me and feel warmer towards me. Ultimately, yeah, she's going to walk away from the situation. But it'll be after their honeymoon time. But anyways, guys, I just had to talk about it. You know, uh, it was quite a, a shenanigans. I was quite shocked. And I was trying to figure out, was this real or was it not? But I've seen the video of the slap in every possible angle. Everybody has a phone this day. And so it was legitimate. Anyways, if you like the video, subscribe, thumbs up. Please tell me if you saw it, what you thought about it. What was your opinion? You have a right to your opinion. Guys, have a great day. Bye.